Hi everyone, in this video we will create a method to display a user menu with basic math operations just like this. So I'm going to start off by declaring or creating a method right after my main method. This will be a method that we will call from main after we finish writing it down. So I'm going to declare it. Um, sorry, I've got my caps on. So I'm going to declare this as public and it's static. So it's a class method. And it's void, it does not return any value back. Um, just basically print out. And so it's called display menu, and I can call this method from main like this. Sorry, there shouldn't be a semicolon there, so that's why the program is complaining. Okay, so this method will just basically print out um, just basic print statements, just in the form of. Um, text or strings like above um, okay so here uh, we'll just say make a selection so that's our first one and we'll have our next one printing a, a dash line and I purposely want the spaces as well there so that's going to be our next one. Let's run the program and see what we get so far. So good. So we've built the first part. Let's move on to do the plus. Um, and we will be using this, this menu to create um, or to build a program that makes this display work as well. So this will be a couple of videos after this one as well. Okay. So our first one was basically um, number one and plus so it's it will be like that now if I run this you'll notice that there are no spaces so I wanted to have a a pipe there and a pipe there just to make it look like and you know like a border a border kind of um, look so that will be the shift and click uh, pressing the backward slash on the keyboard and I'll just put a space so that looks fine here. So I've got this look here. Now, next, what I'll do is um, I actually want some spaces there. So I don't want to, uh, it, it's about a couple of spaces till I get there. So let's go with eight spaces. So I'll do the percentage and 10 S for string. And then I will have my string is just basically a space. And I need to use the printf method for this to work. So it's a formatting. So my formatting rule says I will have um, eight spaces. So instead of, sorry, instead of 10. And then uh, let's just run this. Let's see what we get. Oh, I actually need to also draw another pipe. So I can see that the, the cursor is now here. It puts eight spaces. So I would do with a bit, with two more. So I'll make that 10. And I also will have a, a pipe again. So let's let's see what we get. So now it's in a good place. I might need a new line because the cursor is probably still sitting there. So I could do a, a backward slash and n. So it's not going to show a difference. So it will be somewhere here. Okay. So next I'll copy this since this is working as we want, and I'll make it two, and I'll change that to minus, and I'll run again. So now we've got the minus looking looking good. And I'll copy this. Um, a couple of times. So three, four, five. And then we've got the multiply and then division. And um, this is a power of. So I'm going to change that power of. And so if I do power off, you'll notice that I'm going to need less spaces here. So let me run this. I want to show you what I mean. So you'll see that um, what we had initially was working fine with just one character. But now that I've actually got power off, I need to reduce the number of spaces. So that's about, um, I only probably need about, three to four spaces I think let's go with four and see what we get 
Okay, one more or one less. So three. Okay, so that looks good. And the last one is a quit. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And here we'll give the option for the user to actually quit. And you'll see that quit has more spaces than um, after it than the power of. So I'll say about six and uh, let's run or maybe seven. Yeah, one more. So seven spaces. Okay, next I can just print this again. Okay, so let's see how that looks like now. So this is our menu running and looking um, like we expect it to or like we want it to look. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video where uh, we actually use switch statements to get user entry and, um, and make the methods work. Thank you.